Hi, hi, hi. Uh, today I'm going to round out my tutorial series of flowers with uh, hibiscus. Um, another pretty common flower that starts with a big circle with uh, five circles around it. And today I'm drawing with a magenta prismacolor just, uh, just for kicks. So you're going to start with your large circle, five circles sort of around it. Um, coming off of the center, just one nice curving line like this. Uh, there's actually going to be a lot of these curving lines. So, um, I find when you're doing these, use your wrist to sort of curve the line. Uh, if you just hang on to your pencil, curve your wrist, you'll make these nice curved lines without even trying. So, uh, without even trying is kind of what we're going for here. Anywho, make these curving lines the edge of your petals. They're going to um, just sort of interlock into each other. And then on the inside here, you're going to go the opposite way, which makes them look like they're coming out from the center, like this. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, in the middle here, you're going to have that middle thing that comes out, it's a uh, pistol or a stamen or I forgot the technical name for it, but it sticks out of the middle and uh, most people refer to these, to me anyway, as those uh, tropical flowers with the thing sticking out of the middle. So that's kind of what I call them too. Well, these curvy leaves, I'm just sort of sketching them, um, makes it easier for me to figure out where I want to put these. Off the sides you want to put some larger leaves sort of in the gaps, not in every single gap because then it just looks a little too standard. And then uh, I like to also mix up the size of these leaves just for a bit of visual excitement. You can even do one really big one over here, a little wonky, but that's okay because I've just constructed it. Now I'm going to finalize it with tracing paper, as I am wont to do, uh, picking out my favorite lines or altering them slightly, giving a little more curve to these leaf shapes, I think looks a little nicer. I'm also at a little bit of a weird angle because I'm uh, behind this camera. <laughs> um, but the big nice curves is uh, kind of the effect that you really want to emphasize here. Big, nice, round, overlapping curves. And curves coming out from the center. Again, locking into each other. One goes like this, and another one locks into it, like so. A uh, lot of these flower shapes, as I'm sure I've pointed out before, are uh, repetitive. They're really the same little curlies or the same curves or whatever over and over again. So if you want to make your shapes look a little nicer then um, by all means practice these just by themselves. Um, these little pistols here I tend to just do a bunch of overlapping circles because the centers of them are kind of these little clusters, almost like grapes, I guess, a la corn on the cob status, this sort of jammer here. And then on top, they tend to have these little bits coming out if you want to get technical. Um, and you can add all the detail you want. I, I always think it's a good idea, if you are going to draw a hibiscus or anything, really, um, Get some reference. Look at a real one. I mean, I'm drawing a very, very stylized version of a hibiscus. You would never go out into nature and see one that looks exactly like this. That would be silly. Um, but if you look at a real hibiscus, you can sort of see um, why people would draw these conclusions and why people would draw hibiscus the way that they do. They sort of uh, take all the parts that make you look at it and go, wow, look at that hibiscus. Like the little thing coming out of the middle, the shape of the petals, the 
broad leaves and um, then your brain says, wow, look at that hibiscus. So um, stylizing it is just sort of emphasizing those parts for easy readability. Um, well, looks like I am just about done here. Uh, I'd probably throw a little shading off on one side of the leaves, uh, give it a little bit of dimension. I'd also probably do this in color, uh, typically hibiscus, and you can find this out through research. There are a bunch of different colors. They have pink ones, yellow ones, white ones, uh, mixes of those. There's probably more variations that I have never seen, probably be impressed by. And um, there you uh, there you have it. There is a roughshod way of drawing a hibiscus that hopefully, if you ever want to draw one from scratch by yourself, you can just repeat these steps, uh, hopefully with a little bit of reference, and uh, make one of yourself uh, for your own. So... There you go. I hope that helped. Any questions or comments, please uh, put them down below and uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.